Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Might see a few more rain showers overnight, but we're looking at a better chance of some more storms during the daytime tomorrow, which could bring some more flooding rains. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We've got uh, just a couple of uh, light rain showers here and there across our immediate area. Most of that is uh, false echo returns from the radar up there in uh, the Worcester, North, uh, Northern Rhode Island area. But this is real out here across uh, Western, excuse me, Eastern New York and Western New England. We've got some downpours out here. Most of that is expected to pass on off to our north during the course of the overnight hours. Nonetheless, we'll be monitoring it very closely and it is weakening, not expected to get woken up by any thunder during the uh, overnight tonight. Flood stage of the Patuxent River is at 9. We crested at 9.8 feet earlier in the evening. Level is down to 9.6, so the levels are dropping. Great news for the Patuxent River, but minor flooding is occurring. Flood warning still uh, in uh, in effect there. Live City Camp picture a lot of low clouds and fog. A couple of uh, showers every once in a while. A little bit of a drizzle or mist. Temperatures in the low 70s in Smithfield, Providence, Newport, all at 72, 71 in Westerly, 72 to New Bedford. Here's what's going on. We have a frontal system that's working its way through the north and east. We're in a very warm and sultry air here in southern New England. A couple of disturbances passing on by today help to encourage these uh, storms to develop and give us these big downpours. Now tomorrow we have a cold front working its way through the area. That's going to spark some more showers and thunderstorms. I'm thinking the timing anytime between noontime and about five o'clock in the afternoon. Better chance later in the afternoon with those storms, especially if we catch a little bit of sunshine, then cooler and drier air will work its way in behind that cold front. Let's take a look at it with our future cast and we're going to start you off right about now with cloudy skies. Maybe just a, a quick little sprinkle or shower during the overnight hours, stopping the map about 730 in the morning. Looks like it'll be dry on your way back to work or school. Notice late morning, couple of showers developing and I'm going to stop right here at around four o'clock in the afternoon. Notice these showers and maybe even some thunderstorms beginning to develop, some of which will contain some more heavy rain. I don't think it's going to be a uh, uh, as widespread a uh, flooding problem tomorrow. These storms will be kind of moving a little bit more quickly uh, tomorrow afternoon. Overnight, low 70s, muggy, maybe a couple of uh, sprinkles or light showers. At the bus stop in the morning, you can dress the kids in shorts. It's going to be still pretty muggy, but bring the or give them the umbrellas. They might need it in the afternoon with some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. Again, better chance for showers and thunderstorms. Noontime through the afternoon, better chance will arrive late in the afternoon as that cold front pushes through the area. Seven day future cast after tomorrow looks pretty good, but tomorrow again, we are expecting some big thunderstorms, potentially torrential rain, damaging winds, frequent lightning, and maybe even some hail with the storms in the afternoon tomorrow. Then Wednesday, looking pretty good. 81 degrees, sunshine, nice day. The humidity levels dropping, dry skies. Thursday, maybe a quick sprinkle, and that's about it. And then Friday, it gets a little cooler, still low humidity. Saturday, looking great. Maybe a late day shower on Sunday. Right now, next Monday, looks like it will be dry. So once we get by tomorrow's storms, it looks like it'll be a lot more comfortable and a lot drier around here as well, which we need that dry weather. It was celebrating despite the rain in Woodsocket today. The